It's a sure sign of Fleet Week. A naval ship docking in the San Francisco Bay and local businesses are ready for a big bump in foot traffic. We're going to have to make a whole bunch more hummus and probably uh, I'm going to have to be moving a whole lot quicker. I'm hoping that it's going to bring in more customers from all over the place of the Bay Area, from different cities, to spread out the word and that way they could buy more of our products. From lightning fast jets to larger than life ships, this year's Fleet Week is expected to draw up to a million people into the city. Daniel Hurstein is with the San Francisco Chamber of Commerce. I heard a number today that was maybe even a million people coming in the city next week for Fleet Week, and that has a, a real impact. And really from the, the bottom of our economy, I'm talking about those small businesses that desperately need the foot traffic. Describing small businesses as bearing the brunt of the pandemic's blow. Especially when we look at downtown San Francisco, businesses where when folks weren't coming back to the office, they weren't having the normal traffic. And so they're the ones who really need these sorts of events the most that bring customers into their door and business back to the levels it was pre-pandemic. It has been kind of slow these couple of, well, this past year and a half. So it's really good for us. At Red's Java House, they're expecting it to pick up midweek. By then, all the naval ships will be docked and the Blue Angels take to the sky on the weekend. I think it's going to be like more tomorrow from the boat than today. But, and Thursday, we're expecting a lot of crowds for Thursday, Friday, and next weekend. And beyond the businesses, Fleet Week has a special meaning to those with loved ones who have served. It's been a part of my family history. My father was stationed on Treasure Island and in the Navy my whole life and he was actually buried out to sea. Paula Botello and Jennifer Price both have deep ties to the Navy. My father-in-law as well as my brother spent years in the Navy as well as my sister too. This is our military. This is our U.S. This is what we should be proud of. Tara Campbell, ABC 7 News.